Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss retirement plan options. What are retirement plan options? When you are planning for retirement after work, when you are done working, when you are done contributing, what you do now, what you do now is you put money away. You put money away for the future. The question is, where do you put this money? And this is what retirement plan options are. Why? Why do you have to take into account? Because we do have more than one option of retirement plans. Therefore, we have to understand what are the options that we have. For example, you could have 401ks. There are 401ks that are deductible, non-deductible. We have IRAs, Roth, a traditional, non-deductible. So it's a crucial in understanding the various plan options. Now, this session assumes that you are familiar with the basic plan options. You also have to take into account your tax rate now and your tax rate in the future. And that's difficult because how would you know what the tax rate will be in the future? That depends on a political consideration. Who's going to be in office? Are they going to raise the taxes, lower the taxes when you take your money out? You don't know, but you can take your best guess. You also have to take into account how much your employer, the company that you work for, contribute to your account. That could be a determinant which plan you choose. You have to take into account the deferred taxes. How much taxes am I, am I going to be paying later versus now? That deferred amount, is it worth it? How much is it? What's my best option? So you have to understand those differences when choosing the right type of account based on your individual tax situation. And this is how you would do what? Maximize your retirement savings benefit. Now, in this session, in this session what I would do, we would look at simple situation in a sense. We're going to take one or two variables, keep everything else as equal. What, we, what would you do under those circumstances? But knowing what's a 401k, what's an IRA, will make this session much, much easier for you. If not, stop. Look at the prior sessions because this is basically choosing tax planning strategy. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, ForhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Starting with 401k, what's, what's the main advantage of the 401k? Why, why, why would you choose 401k? Well, one thing is oftentimes employer contribute to your 401k. What's something called the matching. Many employer offer a matching contribution. You put some money, they put some money. For example, if a plan matches your contribution, dollar for a dollar up to 8,000. So if you put up to $8,000, your employer will contribute another $8,000. Now, why would they do that? Well, because that's part of the benefit, part of the benefit working there. It's your 401k. They match your contribution up to a dollar amount. So simply put, you're immediately, what's happening here, it's immediately you're doubling your investment. And that's a great, that's a great, great thing. Your employer contribute $8,000, you contribute $8,000. What's going to happen immediately, not immediately, by the end of the year, you have $16,000. So always look to see if your employer contribute and how much they contribute. Some employer may only contribute up to $1,500. I mean, $8,000 is pretty generous. Uh, some employer may contribute up to $5,000. So the higher, the better. So the least you have to do, if they are contributing to match your contribution, you should put at least that that much. Now, some employers, they're so generous, they will contribute regardless whether you put away contribution or not. So whether you, you, you have a for activated it or not, they activated it and they put that money for you. But the matching is they want you to put the money so they can match it. They want you to be active. They want to encourage you to do so. So if there's a matching, you have to take a look at this. This is free money. You're doubling your money up to a point. You want to do at least, if you have a 401k, you do that. So when to choose the traditional 401k or the traditional IRA? Obviously, for the 401k, if there's a matching, you want to choose that, right? Up to the matching at least. So choosing between a traditional and Roth IRA, traditional Roth IRA, depend on your current and expected future marginal tax rate. Let me explain. What you have to take into account is this, because both of them, the traditional and the 401k, they're going to give you a tax deduction now. 
So when you contribute to those plans, they're going to give you a tax deduction now. It means what? It means the money that you put away is shielded from taxation. So you're going to have savings immediately. That's the good news. What's the bad news? Later into the future, when you take the money out, you will be taxed. What does that mean? It means you have to take a look at your tax rate now and your tax rate in the future. Because these plans, the traditional 401k, the traditional IRA, they give you an immediate tax savings. Those are pre-tax. What does pre-tax mean? It means if you put away, let's assume just for the sake of simplicity, you put away $10,000, and your tax rate also for, this, also for the sake of simplicity is 30%, what you did is you shielded, you lowered your taxes by 3,000. So this is immediate savings. You saved on your taxes $3,000 now, and you put this money away to grow tax-free until you take it out. So you would use this when your current marginal tax rate is higher and you expected a lower later on. So when would you definitely do uh, contribute to a 401k or traditional IRA when your tax rate is high now. Why high now? So let's go back to the 10,000. The 10,000 that you put away now, is set, we said your tax rate is 30%, you saved $3,000. Let's assume that same $10,000 without accumulation, just to make the point, later on when you retire in the future and you take it out, and that's this, we're gonna consider only that same 10,000. Now remember that 10,000 will grow. And let's assume your tax rate is 15%. And guess what? You made another another 1500 by waiting to get this money taxed later. So you got the savings now. Then you saved 1500 for later because your tax rate is lower. So this is when you will do it. If you're currently in a 25% tax rate and you expect your tax rate to be 15% during retirement, then you will take you'll go with the 401k or an IRA. Simple. Simple in a sense that yes. You would look at your tax rate now versus your tax rate into the future. Now, how would you know what will be your marginal tax rate? If in the future you're going to be making more money, uh, then guess what? You're going to have more money later, then your tax rate might still be high. You might be even working during retirement. If you're planning to work during retirement, in other words, retirement, it doesn't mean you stop. At some point, you have to take your money out, whether you actually stop working or not. So if you're planning to work, you're going to have a high tax rate because by the time you retire, you're going to have a lot of experience. People's going to pay. Companies will pay a lot of money for your services. Therefore, you're going to have money. But if you're planning not to have any income and you don't have any income from other sources, you might be in a lower tax rate. So make the deduction now and take the savings later. Now, when to choose a Roth 401k or a Roth IRA? So what is Roth 401k, Roth IRA? You remember that $10,000 that you put away today and it saved you $3,000. Remember that one? Now, you're going to put the $10,000 away and you're going to get no Ta no tax saving. With a Roth, you're not going to get any tax savings. Uh-oh. So why would I put this 3000 away? So if you're telling me I'm not going to get a tax savings, why would I put it away? Well, what we learn about Roth IRAs and Roth 401ks, as long as you meet certain requirements, when you take this 10000 out, when you take it out, so you're going to pay taxes on it now. When you take it out, when you take it out, this amount, the 10000 plus any earnings and the earnings could be a lot depending what you invested in for example if you invested in amazon 20 25 years ago ten thousand dollar now it could be worth a million dollar or close enough to it or an apple when you invested in apple early on but the good news is let's assume you invested in that company that you know their, their stock skyrocketed and now you have a million dollars so your ten thousand dollar that you put away now it's worth a million i'm exaggerating to make the point well yes guess what that one million dollar What's, what's your taxes on it when you take it out? Zero. But let's assume you have to pay taxes at 15%. You'll pay 150000 So you, sell, you saved yourself 150000 Even if your tax rate is 15, your tax rate could be 30. So rather than paying 30%, 300000 you paid zero. And remember your tax rate. I mean, I did not mention this. I should mention this. When you have money in a 401k or an IRA that's not taxed, when it's taken out, it's not capital gain. It's taxed at your ordinary tax rate, ordinary income. This is ordinary income, not capital gains. It's, I'm glad I remember to mention this. So the advantage is tax savings into the future when you have a Roth 401k or a Roth IRA. So you don't care about now. And here's what you're expecting. Your current marginal tax rate is low now. 
and you expected it to be high in retirement. How would you know it's going to be high? You know you're going to be working. You know you have other income. It's going to be high. Or you can predict, well, when I retire, the tax rate will be higher based on the economic situation. Therefore, I should pay the taxes now and save it for later. So if you're currently, uh, the tax, your current tax rate is 12% and you expected it to be 22% when you retire, you're better off with a Roth for a 1k or a Roth IRA. Why? Because you want to pay the taxes now. You want to take this $10,000, tell the government, look, here's your 12%, 1,200. I'm going to save the remaining, which is 8,800. But this 8,800 could grow to who knows how much. And when I take it out, it's tax free. And this is why I will choose a Roth IRA because in the future, when I take it out, plus again, I invested it in Amazon and made a million dollars. The whole amount is tax free and my, my tax is higher. It's even I have a higher savings. So this is when you choose a Roth, a Roth 401k or a Roth IRA. Roth IRA, other advantages of a Roth IRA is you don't have a minimum distribution, required minimum distribution. And we talked about required minimum distribution and we actually did the computation for this, how much you have to take out. Because at some point, the government wants you to take, if you have a traditional IRA or a traditional 401k, you have to take the money out. Why? Because you've been shielding this money for so long and the government says up to a point we're generous, but you have to take this money out, right? So 401k and IRA, they force you, they not force you, they do force you. They do force you in taking your money out. If you have a Roth IRA, Roth means what? You already paid your taxes. The government say, we're off your back. So unlike retirement accounts, Roth, other retirement accounts, Roth IRA do not require you to start taking your distribution at a certain age, allowing continuing tax free. So there's that age 72, Roth IRA does not apply to any of this. And the good thing about Roth IRA, if you have a lot of money, that's the good thing. Let's assume you have, you know, I, I emphasize a lot, so I'm gonna make it 50 million because I emphasize a lot. So let's assume you have 50 million. Um, guess what? And you don't need this money. You don't need this money. Another advantage of it is you keep it to your hairs, to your children, gra grandchildren. And if they get it, it's tax-free to them. And that will be their basis, the fair market value. So you're even saving them taxes if you don't need to spend it. So it's a great to have a Roth IRA. You can choose to leave the funds in the account for further growth without mandatory withdrawal, which is not an option with traditional retirement account. Why? Because the traditional retirement account, you've been running away from paying your taxes, the government says up to a point, then we want that money. Let's take a look at a quick summary. Employer 401k, contribute enough to get at least the full employer match because that's a 100% return immediately. Plus, you'll have a tax deduction. Traditional versus Roth, choose based on your current versus future rate. Look at the future rate. Roth IRA offers the unique advantage of no required, required minimum distribution or RMN, RMD, required minimum distribution. Let's take a look at this example for Emily Johnson, a single 50 year old, old taxpayer. She wishes to contribute $20,000 to her retirement account this year. Her options are Roth and traditional 401k through her employer. Well, the employer matches up to $12,000 for any of these plans. AGI is too high to contribute to a Roth IRA or deduct traditional IRA contributions. She doesn't qualify. Her tax rate is currently 24% and expected it to be higher in retirement. Tax rates are low and expected to be high in the future. That's what she knows about her situation. How would you advise Emily? Well, here we go. The optimal contribution for Emily should be what? First, you want to contribute to the 401k for sure. Contribute at least $12,000. So you get the contribution matching immediately. So she's going to contribute 12,000 and she's going to get another 12,000 immediately. So she put away 24,000, doubling her savings. Choosing between Roth or traditional, well, given the, cur the, the low current tax rate and the expectation of being, of being in a higher tax bracket in retirement, a Roth is more beneficial for her. Why? Because her tax rate in the future will be higher. Therefore, she would rather pay the taxes now on the money and later on take it out tax-free with the earnings, assuming she make good choices on her investments. So contribution are taxed now, but withdrawals will be tax-free in retirement. So we're gonna allocate the 20,000, first 12,000 allocated to the Roth 401k to get the full employer. The remaining 8,000 can be contributed to a Roth 401k as well Although this portion won't be matched, it will be 
growing tax-free and withdrawal tax-free, assuming as she meets all the other requirements for a Roth 401k. So everything should be in a Roth 401k, 20,000, 12,000 to get the minimum contribution and the additional 8,000, they're not going to match it, but put it away, pay the taxes now, you'll save later. Let's take a look at this multiple choice questions from farhatlectures.com. Why would a taxpayer in a lower current tax bracket prefer a Roth 401k over a traditional 401k? So what is Roth 401k? For Roth 401k, you don't get any tax savings now. So you don't get tax savings now. What's the benefit of it? Well, the benefit of it is you're not taxed on anything later. Anything means the amount that you put now plus any earnings. So A, is it because you get an immediate tax deduction on the contribution? No, if you prefer a Roth, that's not gonna give you immediate tax deduction. What's gonna give you an immediate tax deduction is the traditional 401k. It will give you an immediate tax deduction. Therefore, that's not the answer because it does not give you that. Employer contribution are higher. Well, here they're not telling you if Roth 401k or traditional will have a different employer contribution. Therefore, contribution is not even relevant. Tax-free withdrawal and retirement. Would that be an advantage of Roth versus traditional? And the answer is yes. In a Roth IRA, when you take the money out, it's all tax-free. The original amount plus any earnings. And what they're implying here is your current tax bracket, uh, why would the tax and lower tax bracket, it means in the future it could be higher. It's gonna even gonna give you more savings because it's higher and tax-free. No required minimum distribution. Now, this would be correct if it was a Roth IRA. If it's a Roth IRA, you have no required minimum distribution. However, the Roth 401k, you do have that. that therefore, that's not that's not an advantage. Therefore, the answer is C, tax-free withdrawal and retirement. What should you do now? You're going to go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs, lectures, resources. That's going to help you, whether you're studying for your CPA exam, enrolled agent, or any other accounting courses or professional certification. Farhat is always here to help you invest in yourself, study hard, good luck, and it's worth it.